At first I was afraid, I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side But then I spent so many nights Thinking how you'd done me wrong And I grew strong And I learned how to get along And so you're back From outer space I just walked in to find you here With that sad look upon your face I should have changed that stupid lock I should have made you leave your key If I'd have known for just one second You'd be back to bother me Go on now, go Walk out the door Just turn around now Cause you're not welcome anymore Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbye? Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh no, not I. I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive. I got all my life to live, and I got all my love to give. I will survive. I am Death Drawn Hammer. Welcome to another exciting edition of Max Sam's Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. With me tonight is RM2K Midi. He's very good today, aren't you, RM2? Oh, I'm doing wonderful, Death Drawn. Welcome to our show. Absolutely fantastic. Let's see what Campbell has to say about what we just did. You did it, Snake. You shot down the hind. I was so worried. Liquid couldn't have survived that. I wonder. But even so, just because we've taken out their leader doesn't mean they're going to give up. They're still going to try to launch that nuke. You're right. There's no time to waste. Hurry. The underground base is past the communications tower. The elevator's working again, isn't it? Let's have a victory cigarette and talk to them about it. Are you smoking? Yeah, so what? Didn't you know that cigarettes contain benzopyrene, a chemical that leads to lung cancer? We now know that when benzopyrene enters the body, it changes to benzopyrene diolipoxide, BPDE and attaches to the receptors on the P53 gene, the gene which causes lung cancer. The BPDE attaches to the P53 gene in three specific locations and causes precancerous changes to the lung tissue. You know a lot about science, but you don't know how good a cigarette tastes in the morning. That's wonderful, but we should probably quit. Yes. Now let's head downstairs to a wonderful world of mysticism, magicalism, and autoerotic asphyxiation. Anyway, this game was originally on the PlayStation. The first one. Not the unborn one. We don't talk about that abortion. <laughs> no. Oh my, the cameras are still here. Oh, yes indeed. But not anymore. Why should I tolerate such impudence? I will prepare. Look at them confused. Like a brain damaged rhinoceros. Dance, cameras, dance. Oh, yes. The confused color lighting tells me that they're homosexuals. Oh, my. One last time for the road, old friend. But know that I don't consider you a friend. 
As you are just a lonely little thing, ugly dear at boot. Oh my, I believe it's working again. Let us dance in celebration. Oh yes. My snake, you are looking very shiny today. But the weight limit counter went off. You are fatter than an elephant who ate Walter Brimley. <laughs> Lay off the chocolates. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? You can do if you math. take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. Which you I flunked. thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Oh my! Also, about the elevator that I checked out. It's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! Oh, 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 funny face. The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you! Too late, Snake! Now die! No, I choose life! And spazzing out! <laughs> I can see you. Can you see me? That is the most unfortunate. We will be back in just a minute. Terribly embarrassing. That's what you get. Too late, Snake. Now die. Now let's do this again. But happier, shall we? No one likes unhappy people. It's so nice of them to give you a little more health. They are mighty spry. No. Be not me to me, but I'm. I only wish to share. No. Ah. Hmm. I see we must prepare in anticipation. I will wear the goggles from the start. Hmm. This time there is no one here. Uh, completely empty, I believe. The thermal goggles tell me such. Science. It is truly amazing. Still alone in my elevator. Snake. Yes, Otacon, we already know what you're going to say. Too late, Snake. Now die! Where did you arrive, you ruffian? None of that cantankerous attitude will serve you far, yeah? None of that. No pointing guns, young man. It is quite rude, you know. Naughty, naughty. Come oh, on, you can do that, huh? No flailing this time, and you're all dead. Flare in the fires of hell. And that is how it's done. Oh. What tempestuous temptations. The beautiful stairs cut down in their prime. 
The door over yonder will serve us yet. Very good, very good. They're nearsighted, don't you agree? They weren't made by competent people. What do you expect from cameras and from Michigan? <laughs> I hear inbred wolves howling in the distance. There's no one to talk to you, little things. You're on an archipelago. Oh well, let us traverse forthly in safety and knowledge. I have been deceived. Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me, in the middle of this blizzard. It's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. Like a little boy no, who not. first met Peabody. So what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> oh, it's the lady who dyes her hair to hide the gray ones. <laughs> Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between. How did you get this frequency? You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. I don't know. Women naturally make better soldiers. In bed. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Had you sensed me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. This you is first grade. It's a bullet straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Weaken the knees before a pretty girl, which you are not. <laughs> no, she is not. Must find a good place to relax and have tea. Where is such a place? A gentleman can't yeah. go into battle without some good tea. Yes, this place would do quite well. Quite well indeed. Hmm, she wants to have a sniper duel. I don't believe in such chicanery. No, why play fair when I can play devastating? <laughs> you got her now? There you are, you little snow minx. I once made a coat out of snow minx. It wasn't very warm. Be cold like that, just for me, dear. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did she? No one ever expects a Nikita to the crotch. I certainly didn't back in Uganda. <laughs> I'm hardly a man anymore. She's not even looking at you. Right in the Botox. Did you say Botox? But <laughs> she certainly has had. <laughs> Oh, don't lose your composure, young lady. The night's still young. And you remind, remind me suddenly of my third wife. Before her mysterious accident. When she fell down an elevator shaft onto some bullets. 
Nasty business, that. Nasty. I give a tip to the janitor for cleaning the mess. She's not trying very hard, is she? No, I think she is enjoying this whole process. Oh, what a little kinky! Naughty girl! Naughty, naughty girl! Oh, she's one of those girls! I'll be sure to fuck your corpse later, young lady. It'll be a marvelous time. I'll take a picture. I'll put it in the cereal in the morning. Good thing it's in the snow here, too. You'll be quite preserved! I think one or two more will do the trick. Alright, dear. Here's the loop! And that, as they say, is that. Hey, Otacon, I killed the only girl you might have had a chance with. <laughs> oh, your breaking heart amuses me. <laughs> Better luck next time. And now for a sympathetic scene. Waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> I am long shot. By a Nikita missile. You, you cannot save me. Please. It's called concussion, dear. <sighs> There's a missile lodged Just in her lungs. Just finish me quick. She must have swallowed it. They were I am a guard. Your organs were liquefied. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A curd. So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield. Raised on a battlefield. Gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake awkward. up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero. Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. I have shamed myself and my people. 
I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... she was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please. Set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. Everyone's here now. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. Now go cry in a corner, little emo boy. His glasses are fogs from his tears. <laughs> Look at that body. I will come back for it later. And a little wolf who plays here in the snow. Don't eat it too much. I need some parts preserved. What say you, Gamble?
A sad story. We shouldn't have turned our backs on the Kurds after the Gulf War. Listen, we're not responsible for her choices. Everyone decides their own fate, no matter where they were born. Words like fate, karma, it's just an excuse for giving up if you ask me. I don't agree with you. Maybe if she hadn't been born on a battlefield, she might have had a happier, more fulfilling life. She might not have turned into a killer. Oh, she would have turned into something else. Either way, she was a dirty girl. <laughs> as long as the strategy of nuclear... I do not care. But no! You're spilling your heart! What about you, Master Miller? Master, you and I... We're nothing more than dogs, are we? That's not like you, Snake. Don't let what Sniper Wolf said bother you. Listen, there's not a soldier alive that doesn't question himself. And if there is one, he's nothing more than a murderer. But someone like Wolf, a soldier who's looking for nothing more than their own death, is no good to anyone either. Once she started to look for death, it was all over. That's how you'll end up too, Snake. All right, Mei Ling. In China, they say, it's better to live ugly than to die beautiful. I think it's true. Once you're dead, you'll never have another chance to be happy. I can't understand people who want to die before their time. Please, Snake, promise me that you'll come back alive. I will if you're waiting in my bed. And I'll make sure you die beautiful and preserved as well. <laughs> My little cutie doll. That's right. I mean it. Now have a wonderful night. <laughs> Stay beautiful, people. <laughs>